All right. So, I have a helper this time. Hopefully, he'll be able to make me out above his voice, but I don't really have much choice right now because his brother and sister have gone to hockey. So, this is the fourth video in the meiosis um, videos, and it deals with um, basically a... a a process that sometimes happens that results in um, the wrong number of chromosomes in the sex cells and so the wrong number of chromosomes in the babies that are made from those sex cells. So it's called meiotic non-disjunction and basically what happens is, I'm just going to grab a pen, um, basically the chromosomes fail to come apart during meiosis. And so because they fail to separate properly, so for instance, if you look here, instead of being pulled to opposite poles, both of these um, homologous pairs are pulled to one side. So the resulting cells, this one, is going to divide to give two sex cells that only have one chromosome, whereas this one is going to divide, and instead of having two chromosomes, they're going to end up giving two sex cells that have three. So these would be considered monosomy condition, where there's only one copy, mono means one, and this one would be trisomy condition. Okay, so they have an extra copy. So if this cell, if one of these monosomy cells came together with a normal um, a normal cell in this organism, it would have two chromosomes. So you'd have two chromosomes plus this one chromosome would give you three in the diploid zygote that forms. Whereas this one, okay, and three instead of four. Whereas the top one, if it came together, so there's three in that one, if it came together with a normal one, which would have two, then they'd end up with five copies, so they'd have an extra chromosome instead of the normal four. So these are some of the syndromes, um, some of the more common syndromes that um, come about as a result of non-disjunction. And these syndromes each have different um, symptoms or characteristics. So in your activity on Monday, you're going to be um, looking as though you're a, a genetic counselor, you're going to be looking at a karyotype of these particular um, patients that you have and see what's wrong with their chromosomes. Do they have a certain, um, do they have an extra copy of a certain chromosome or do they, are they missing a copy of a certain chromosome and figure out which of these syndromes they have. So if they had three copies of chromosome 21, instead of the normal two copies, then they would have Down syndrome. And I'm sure that, that most of you have, have seen or been around someone who has Down syndrome. And there's a spectrum of abilities and symptoms that are seen in any one of these people who have a syndrome. Um, but in general, someone with Down syndrome would have mental impairment. They have a thick tongue, which leads off into speech difficulties as well as other things like heart defects and respiratory problems. Um, and they tend to happen one in every 800 to one in every 1,000 um, births. Klein-Felter syndrome, they have, um, has all the rest of these particular syndromes have to do with the sex chromosomes. So we have 23 chromosomes altogether. 22 of them are not to do with determining the sex, but we do have one set, then that's the last set, the 23, chromosome 23, which determines sex. So if you have two X's, then you would be female. But if you have an X chromosome and a Y chromosome, then you would be a male. In Klinefelter syndrome, they would be XXY. And, and if you remember from the case study we did in one of the earlier chapters, the Y chromosome is what dictates whether they're going to develop into a male. The X chromosomes, um, basically, we would naturally become women unless we have an, a Y chromosome that says to become otherwise. 
Okay, so this particular individual, because they have an extra X, they tend to have more feminine characteristics. They would be a male, um, but they would have immature sex organs. They'd be sterile, often um, develop breasts, not necessarily as large as, as normal females, but they would develop breasts. They'd have long legs, no facial hair, and often associated with learning difficulties. And that would be one in every 500 boy births. Um, Jacob's syndrome is when they have an extra Y chromosome. So they are male. Um, they appear normal. Um, they probably have extra male characteristics, but they often end up having a low, lower mental ability and it affects one in 1,000 boys. Paternal syn syndrome is monosomy X. So that means instead of having two copies of the X chromosome, they only have one. Um, someone with Turner syndrome tends to be shorter in their stature, so, so they tend to not be as tall as a normal average female. Um, they do not develop ovaries. They do not have menstruation, and so therefore they are infertile and are not able to have children. Um, it tends to happen in 1 in 2,500 uh, female births. Trisomy X means that they would have an extra X chromosome. Um, these women, they're women, um, they tend to appear normal or have um, very feminine characteristics. Um, they may also be sterile, but ben they may not be. And it occurs in one in every thousand. So in your activity, you're going to be looking at um, karyotypes. Basically, a karyotype is an illustration or photograph that shows the chromosomes from the nucleus of a somatic cell in an organism. The pairs are usually lined up in order, and they usually go um, often from largest to smallest, so if you notice, these tend to be the largest ones. Um, and these are the smallest, with the exception in our organisms of, of this X cells, because the X is pretty big, but we just kind of keep them at the end. They are number um, 23, so the 23rd pair. So the way that they can acquire um, the chromosomes is through, they could do one of two procedures. One is amniocentesis, where they would remove um, material through the, from the amnion. And you can look at these up and, and see them in a little more de detail. Um, but they would get some from the amniotic fluid. And because the baby is floating in the amniotic fluid, um, they can take the, the chromosomal information from cells that kind of are, are present there from the baby um, and look at them and kind of take a, a snapshot and then they would organize the chromosomes and be able to tell if there's an extra one or if there's some damage. Uh, to a certain extent, they can tell if there's damage. Maybe one's shorter or maybe there's one with extra, extra length to it. There's extra regions of it. Um, and it allows for easy detection of non-disjunction and some chromosome mutations, like if one is shorter than another. But if you look, we've said before, the homologous ones look alike, so they would find the mother and father copies and line them up. They're kind of bent here, but that's just because of the positioning whenever they got the kind of snapshot of them. But if you look, the banding is the same, the positioning of the centromeres are the same, um, so the, the the banding is showing regions of the different genes and, and things like that. So they line up the homologous pairs and they see, okay, is there an extra of a certain one? So if there was an extra chromosome 21 down here, um, then that person would have Down syndrome. If there's an, an extra X chromosome, then they would have um, Kleinfelter syndrome. Okay, but you could tell also if this was a person who had Down syndrome, um, you could tell their sex by looking at the sex chromosomes. Because they have an X and a Y, they would be a male. Okay, so that's the idea behind um, the activity that you're going to be doing. Okay, 
So if we were to look at these ones, okay, um, all of so this this one back here was a normal karyotype, and you're going to have a normal one to compare to. But all of these ones, the pairs are all good, except we get to the sex cells, and there's something going on here. We have two X's and a Y. So it would be Klinefelter syndrome, because Klinefelter syndrome is XXY. Okay, if we look at um, the second one, if you look carefully, there's an extra one here. That's chromosome number 21. So if it has trisomy 21, then they would have Down syndrome. Okay. Next one was Klinefelter. That one was Down. And this last one, again, it's an issue with the sex chromosomes. They only have one X. It's monosomy X and Turner syndrome is the one that has monosomy X. So they'd be a female, but they don't have both X chromosomes, which are required in order for them to fully develop and be able to have um, children and have their um, reproductive organs develop as they should. Okay, so um, this was video four, I believe, um, part four, which had to do with meiotic non-disjunction and the next one we're going to talk about in video five um, kind of chunking them up so that you don't have to sit through as long at a time next one we're going to be talking about spermatogenesis versus oogenesis okay which are both processes of meiosis oh wrong one there we go